I've been reading nonfiction books with intensity for a few years now, and I'm always looking for new tools to help that reading process just a little bit easier. My goal is to intentionally read the nonfiction books to absorb the information, but also take notes so I can use that information down the line. It's the second part in the process that I want to address in this video. If you've seen my book notes video, then you know I have a strategy for this, but it's not been the easiest to keep up with. In that video, I walk through my process of writing notes as I read and then transferring those notes into something called Obsidian. This program is pretty amazing and it allows you to keep all of your notes in one place so you can filter through them and find information quickly. Essentially, it acts as a second brain. But this process hasn't been all that easy to keep up with for one simple reason, because typing up all of those notes takes freaking ages, and I mean hours at a time. I'm all for the tactile experience of writing notes on paper because they help you retain information quicker. But if the result of this is that I spend hours sat at my computer typing up paragraphs of book text, then I think we've missed the point. I know, I know, typing up notes manually will help the information sink in better and help me retain it too. But I don't have the time to spend hours doing that and I bet neither do you. But I have found something that can automate the entire process. There's just one catch. Your books have to be digital. Readwise is a simple tool that automatically uploads your ebook and article highlights to Readwise. Once in Readwise, you can tag, sort, edit, and add notes to these highlights. Readwise will then send you an email on a frequency you choose with a selection of these highlights on a regular basis. Okay, so you might be thinking that all sounds really fancy, but what's the point? The aim of all of this is to help you retain the information that you've read weeks or even months after you finish reading the book. This is because our brain works differently from a computer. We can't just cram information in and hope it sticks. Our brain simply doesn't have the ability to store information in the way we would like it to. In fact, studies have shown that we can only realistically remember five to seven new pieces of information at a time. So if we want to remember all of the things we've read, then we have to take a different approach. Our brains effectively strengthen memories we encounter frequently. It's why we find it easier to remember pin codes and phone numbers that we use frequently, but new versions of these things are really hard to remember. So Readwise takes advantage of this by using something called spaced repetition. Basically, it shows you highlights you've saved at set intervals over time. The result should be that you can recall and remember from your own memory the most important aspects of each book. So by using a tool like Readwise, you'll in theory retain the information that you yourself have curated from the books you've been reading over time. Once you've received your email, you'll get a curated list of your highlights for that day. You'll then be able to curate this even further in Readwise. You can edit them, change the tags, your notes, keep them or discard them, share it, and more. So of course Readwise on its own is great, but I wanted to use it to help me save time by importing my notes into Obsidian. This is probably the main reason why I wanted to try Readwise out in the first place, and that's because it has a plugin that you can use with Obsidian to automatically import your notes into Obsidian. In other words, it will pull in all of your book highlights, your notes, tags, and more into Obsidian for you. All of it's pre-formatted, you can customize it if you want, so you hardly have to do a thing. What a time saver. Of course, this is only my first experience with Readwise. I'm only on their 30 day free trial so far, but I have a good feeling about it. So if you would like a more in-depth tutorial on how I import my reading notes from my Kindle into Readwise and then into Obsidian, then leave me a comment below because I would love to walk you through it. So now with these tools in combination and using my Kindle to highlight nonfiction books, I can spend less time manually typing up notes and more time intentionally reading the books. Plus, if Readwise helps me retain more information over time, then that's a bonus too. Who doesn't want a curated list of your own highlights sent to you on a daily basis? But I want to know from you. 
Do you think you'll give Readwise a go after watching this video? Do you think it would help you retain more information over time? Or do you think it's just another productivity tool that you could really do without? I would love to know, so leave me a comment. And I will see you next Thursday for another video.